That was a speech by the president of Liberia, Mrs. Ellen Johnson Selif, showing her passion for education and commending the president of Rochas Foundation, Governor Rochas Okocha, for this wonderful initiative. And right now, they are to move on a tour around the Rochas Foundation College to see where the students have been learning. Like I mentioned earlier, aside the two students from Liberia, we also have three more. We have Abdullah Fasawil, he's from Liberia. Um, before Rochas Foundation found him, the dreaded Ebola disease altered his destiny and dealt a deadly blow with him and his family. His father died of Ebola and his mother too died of Ebola. It wiped out his entire family. The young Abdullah was living with his aunt as a house help without going to school until Rochas Foundation found him. We also have Kokulio Moba. He lost his mother at a very young age and never met his father since he was born. Neither does he know where he used to live. He has never recovered from the circumstance of how Richard's foundation discovered him and is among the brightest students in Richard's Foundation College of Africa today. And lastly, we have a Musu Masaki. He is the fifth Liberian child, equally a tale of woe before he was rescued by the Richard's Foundation College of Africa. The Imo State Governor, Richard Sokorocha, and the Liberian President on tour around the Rochas Foundation College of Africa to see where the students have been learning. I'm 
Also, the president of Liberia, Mrs. Ellen johnson Sullivan, will also speak to over 1,000 students of the Rochas Foundation College. That is the one, the local one here, the one that we have the Oweri children and people from Ogoko, the hometown of the governor. The president is going to speak to them shortly after this tour. I would also like to remind our viewers that upon our arrival yesterday, the president went straight to the palace of the Imo State Council of Traditional Rulers, where she received a traditional title, or her derima of Imo State. And later today, she will also be receiving the Imo Merit Award as the Grand Chancellor State of Imo. She will also attend the 2017 Imo Women Summit tagged Women in Politics, where she will be delivering a lecture to over 5,000 women at the Imo State International Conference Center here in Oweri, the Imo State capital. A total of 275 students will, at this first period, make the Rochas Foundation College of Africa, five each from 55 African countries. They will start their school from GSS1 to SS3. But at the, at the moment now, 